I'm Kieran Conway and you're watching Sports and Icons. So Mauricio Suleiman, the WBC president, has announced that from November there will be a bit of a restructure at the top end of the boxing weight divisions. The cruiserweight will now be from £200 down to a weight limit of £190. Then there will be a new weight division which will be a maximum £224 and then heavyweight division £224 and above. Now, all this came about, and I did a video on it um, a couple of months ago, where Tony Bellew, who of course is the new head of the WBC committee, he came out with the idea of bridging the gap between light heavyweight to heavyweight. Because going from £175 at the light heavyweight up to £200 at the cruiserweight was quite a gap. £25 is quite a gap. Of course, Tony Bellew, he knows all about that. Now, the way that Tony Bellew wants to do it, he wants to introduce two weight divisions. Musa Suleiman and the WBC have said, well, you know what? Maybe two weight divisions might be a little bit too much. Let's introduce one more and restructure the cruiserweight and heavyweight division. Now, with a new weight division, of course, we don't know what it's going to be called. Maybe that's going to be called the heavyweight division. And what, what we consider the heavyweight division now might become a super heavyweight division, or they could call it a super cruiserweight division. Who knows what it is that they're going to do? All those things will be found out in due course, I'm sure. But for me, there's way, way, way too many weight divisions. Was it 17 weight divisions, I think it was, and four champions for each one. That's a hell of a lot of belts on the line. So by creating another one, what they're doing is, well, it's a bit more money, isn't it? Because there'll now be more belts on the line. Now, for the WBC to do this, of course, they need the permission of the WBA, the WBO and the IBF, because these are the four main sanctioning bodies, including the WBC, for a fighter to become undisputed. So to become undisputed, you need all four of these belts. So the other sanctioning bodies will have to agree. Of course they're going to agree, because it means that they can then create more belts. That's more money, isn't it? That's how it's going to be. Now, with this new weight division of a maximum limit of £224, well, this would probably be ideal for the likes of Alexander Usyk for the likes of Deontay Wilder and quite a few other ones. So maybe that's why Deontay Wilder ducked Tyson Fury for the third fight, because he knew that this was coming. Maybe, who knows. So I think, all in all, hey, listen, bridging the gap between light heavyweight to the cruiserweight to the heavyweight is a good idea, of course. But there's way too many weight divisions, and I said before, with the weight divisions, especially at the lower end, there's quite a few in there that could be chopped out. Quite a few in there where there's only like a four pound difference in between each weight, maybe a five pound difference in between each weight. You could chop out a couple of those. A couple of them are, are, are what, three pound, I think they are. So there's far too many weight divisions. Are they going to chop out a couple down the lower end? Because really, what's the difference of four pounds? Maybe for some it's quite a lot, but really it's not too much, is it? So for me, they should look at that, but they're not going to, I don't think, so, um, because what they want to do is generate more money, and this is a good way of doing it. Now, as I said before, no idea what they're going to call it. I would, I would presume a super cruiserweight division, I presume. But going forward, I mean, what heavyweights are out there that could possibly do this? As I said, you've got Alexander Usyk. He's a WBA mandatory. He's going to have to weigh in above 224 pounds in order to compete for that particular belt. John Tay Wilder, he's fought at 218 pounds in that before, 220 pounds in that before. So that would be ideal for him. Then you look at the likes of Alan Babbage and quite a few others. So there's plenty of fighters out there that could fill this weight division that's between 190 pounds to 224 pounds. So for me, I'm not against this idea whatsoever. Of course, you guys drop me your thoughts below. Do you agree with it? Do you agree with lowering the cruiserweight and upping the heavyweight? Do you agree with bridging the gap? Do you agree with having another weight division? Or like me, do you think that there's way too many belts in box anyway? And there's nothing wrong with introducing that bridging of the gap, but maybe get rid of a couple of the lower weights. Anyway, you drop me your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.